In this video, I'm going to go through an example of using Euler's step-by-step -step method. The function y of x satisfies the differential equation y dy by dx is equal to x squared plus y, and the condition y of 0 is equal to 1. Use Euler's step-by-step -step method with a step length of 0.25 to obtain an, an estimate of the value of y1. Give your answer to three decimal places. OK, so the first thing is that you want to make sure your differential equation is in the correct format. We need it as dy by dx equals some function of x and y. So I'm going to divide through by y and get dy by dx is equal to x squared plus y over y. OK. Right. So um, first thing to consider is that y of 0 here, I'm going to write as y 0, OK? So y 0 is equal to y of 0. And I'm going to have y 1 is equal to y of 0 0.25. y 2 as y of 0 0.5. y 3 of, 0, of y of 0 0.75. And y4, space, y4 will be y of 1. And this is the one that I want to get to. OK, I want to get to y4. OK, so I'm using this formula here. So we've got some function of x and y to the right hand side of my dy by dx. So uh, let's dive straight in then. So y1 is going to be equal to y0 plus h, so 0 0.25, times f of x0, y0. So y0 is y of 0, in this case, which is 1. And I'm substituting x0, y0, so 0, 1, into this. So I get 0 plus 1 over 1. So that's just 1. OK, so I've got 1 plus 0.25 times 1, so 1.25. And that's y1. OK. So then, y2 will be equal to y1, so 1.25. Should we write this down? Let's write it down. So y1 plus 0.25 times f of x1, y1. So 1.25 plus 0.25 times by, now x1, y1. Now, x1 is the 0 0.25, so we're going to have 0 0.25 squared plus y1, which is the 1.25, over the y1. OK, so, so 1.25 plus 0 0.25 times, um, we've got the 0 0.25 squared plus 1.25 over 1.25. And that gets me 121 over 80, which is 1.5125. So I've now got my y2. Right, y3 is going to be equal to y2 plus 0.25 times f of x2, y2. So y2 is the 1.5125. Uh, x2 is the 0 0.5. So we're going to have 0 0.5 squared plus, sorry, 1.5125 over 1.5125. So 1.5125 plus 0 0.25 times 
0.5 squared plus 1.5125 over 1.5125. And we get 1.8038223 so that's my y3 and then y4 will be y3 plus 0.25 times f of x3 y3 so the 1.8038223314 plus 0.25 times now the x3 is 0.75 so 0 0.75 squared plus the 1.8038222314 over the 1.8038222314. Okay, so this is where you really want to be using your answer key on your calculator. So answer plus 0 0.25 times by 0.75 squared plus answer divided by answer right and we should get 2.13178167 and I want this to three decimal places so 2.13 to three decimal places so that is the value of y of 1, which is my y4.